now before I hand back to him. Just stay there just for a minute, you all, because I just want a final talk to you in a minute. Father, I pray for this man of God that you have brought him to this moment through great trial, through great testing, through struggle, through perseverance, through questioning, what am I doing? Am I doing it right? What should I be doing? God, I open the doors, show me, help me to understand that you have brought him to this pinnacle of his life, this moment but Father, many of these questions that he's had shall be answered. And that in the answering of those questions, there shall be decisions made in his own heart. Amen. Father, there shall come upon him a shift. Amen. There will be a shift. Sometimes we despise the days of small beginnings. But God is ever watchful. Is there a man? Is there a man, he calls? Is there a man or a woman who will stand with me? He's not looking for the biggest. He's not looking for the wealthiest. He's not looking for the greatest title. He's not looking for all the big and handsome brothers of King David. But he picked the little one who had the heart for the Lord. Who was out doing his job diligently on his father's field, watching the sheep. When the day of his appointment came, the prophet came and poured the oil upon him while still a young man and said, for God has called you to be a king of Israel. There are very special days when God calls a man or a woman and reflects on their years of faithfulness and trial and testing and questions. God is patient through the testing and the hardening of your resolve to serve the Lord. The Lord has not missed one day, not one moment, not one prayer. There shall come a shift, and the shift is not a natural shift. It's not just a change of thinking from you, but that will happen. There will come a shift in the spirit. There will become a shift in your own spirit. There will come a seed from God that will begin to grow and with it will come special ability and power and strength with it will come a voice that will have influence and power with it will become nations with it will come the compassion of the Lord for those that are hurting and bewildered that are seeking seeking, seeking a man of God that they can actually trust. The Lord says, walk with me, my son. Don't be dazzled by what the world says or what the world can offer. To do so is actually in enmity or opposition to me. But seek first my kingdom, my righteousness. Seek first the things that matter to me, says the Lord. And I will not open the door, but fling the door open. And pour out such a blessing that you will not be able to contain it 
because you will be giving it out. Father, thank you for these days of small beginnings that lead to significant changes in the realms of the Spirit for the kingdom of God and for the good of the people, for the profit of all. We thank you. Remember this moment. Remember the day. Remember the hour. Remember the moment. Thus says the Lord your God, who you serve. Amen. Amen.